How's it guys? So like I mentioned in my previous video, we will be doing this. Diamond mining, okay. It's uh, saying it's a first grade product. Let's play together and have a good time and dig it out. So we've got about eight different diamonds to collect. So I'm hoping we will be getting all eight. And uh, just gonna be the hammer that part there with the shovel and that will be the nail we are going to use so i got this product also from the crazy store which is a um or franchise with in south africa which i think is great i mean they don't only stock toys they stock a wide variety of things and really affordable so um, i'm really looking forward to see what we're gonna find in here and how much fun we're gonna have it looks like you know doing the whole digging process is gonna be a lot of mess involved but i mean that's what makes it fun <laughs> and i mean especially for parents i mean doing this with your kid i think it's going to be amazing i mean especially you know with smaller kids it's a great way to bond with them um it says ages three and up i'm assuming it's because of you know like the little diamonds and stuff in there so um regardless everyone's gonna have fun with this and uh, that's why i wanted to share this with you guys and then two quick things um english is not my first language so i looked back on some of the videos i posted and uh, i tend to pronounce some words differently and i'm not always sure if people understands what i'm saying you know because I'm pronouncing it in a different way. Um, my language is actually Afrikaans. Um, we get our English people within South Africa where English is their first language. Um, but then they speak Afrikaans with an accent. So <laughs> it's like a vice versa type of thing. And uh, interesting fact, we've got 11 official languages within South Africa. And I'm ashamed to only speak two, you know, I know some people that can speak three four even five of them so i wish i was one of those people who could actually speak multiple languages and not only two and then the the second thing that i came across so i started watching toy review channels during the worldwide pandemic and i uh, i really enjoyed it and i mean that's what got me started i mean I'm like still really, really early stages. <laughs> Definitely not an influencer, but I really find this relaxing, you know, and to actually show people and to educate South African people that the toys we are getting here is great, but um, there's such a wide variety of toys out there, you know, that people are not aware of. So that's why I started this channel. So South African people can be made aware like, the toys we've got, it's, it's, it's awesome, but like it's a fraction of the amount of toys that you do get. I mean, I imported two OMG dolls because we, we just don't get them here, you know. So I had to get those to Amazon, which was great. I think it took like a week I got it. Um, the other day I bought a Rapunzel classic doll. That literally took three days. That was amazing. So I, my aim here is to guide fellow South Africans to you know explore a bit you know uh, especially for your collectors I don't even know if we've got doll and toy collectors within South Africa I've never met one I think like as far as I know I'm the only one um, but something that I, that I really enjoy and then a second thing was I found a lot of youtubers bashing other youtubers and funny part it's usually your, your your big influences with like thousands even millions of followers you know getting shade from like your smaller channels which i just don't understand it, it doesn't make sense to me you don't need to bash anyone you know I, I don't know if it makes them feel good or they think they're going to get more views at the end of the day but my channel will not be focused on that obviously the the only thing I will be focusing on is the toys itself. Obviously, I will point out the flaws that I see in the toys, but majority of the time I'm going to 
try and focus on the good, you know, and uh, the good qualities of the toy and what makes it worth it to buy it and if it is worth paying what they are asking for that toy. So I just had to get that off my chest. Um, but enough of that, let's get started with this. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I've been waiting to do this for, I think, yeah, I think I bought this about a month ago. So, I'm very keen on doing this, actually. Ah. It's not that difficult to get it out of the packaging. I'm just making it sound that way. <laughs> okay, so here we've got our little diamond. And then our hammer. Got our shovel right here. And a nail that we're going to use the hammer on. If you guys would like to see the packaging, you can just give it a pause. But I will um, also put up pictures so you guys can read it nicely. And at the back here, so I have to turn it sideways, guys. Diamond mining, the dig it out. We've got our diamonds right there. Um, I don't think there's any instructions, but I mean, it's self explanatory. So I don't think there's much to it. But uh, okay, let's get started. Here we go. Now where to start? I think let's do let's start on the top. Why not? Because you like really have to get into it guys, like do it hard. I'm gonna like blur out the sound a bit so you guys and go deaf. Wow, guys, this, okay, there we go. It's starting. Ooh. So there's stuff all over the place, but that's fine. We can clean that up afterwards. I suggest maybe do it outside <laughs> on like a big table so wherever it messes, it will be easier to clean up. Okay, let's do this side. So I think the best part is like give it a couple of bashes and then just like dig. I'm so excited to see the first diamond we're gonna get actually. Let's give it a couple of bangs on the top. That seems to work better. Yeah. I should have done this in the first place. Okay, I'm just gonna push this in and dig. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to to the cleanup after this because what you see here, it's not only this. There is a lot, so like on the carpet I'm working on, on the tile floor. <laughs> but I'm having fun though. Okay. Okay, this is a little more, bit more difficult than what I thought it's gonna be. I wonder what this is actually, what it's made of. I know in Afrikaans we call it chips, but I, I will go look it up and then uh, I will just tell you guys what this is. Okay, so there's a nice big hole. So let's give this a few more. I must say I'm glad this is plastic because if it wasn't, I would be walking away with a couple of blue nails and fingers and stuff. Push this in. 
And I also think this is this is cool to keep, you know, after this whole experience you give to your kids. You know, especially the ones that likes tools and stuff. Because I mean you, you get those toolboxes for kids, you know, obviously out of plastic. And I think if uh, they've got those, they can just add this to the collection. And I mean, um, I believe like, I don't care if you're boy or girl, you can play with dolls. You can play with, with tools. You can play with cars. I mean, what, whatever makes the kid happy at the end of the day. Um, when I was growing up, no, it was like, it was very strict. You can either play with dolls for girls, boys can play with cars and their tools or whatever, but um, never the other way around. And I think I've seen this awesome clip on YouTube once about dad and his, I think this, the kid or the little boy was like either five or six and uh, the kid actually wanted a doll, a mermaid. I think it was Ariel. And he bought that and he made a clip about, you know, if a boy wants to play with dolls, he can play with it. If a girl wants to play with cars, let them do it. You know, I don't think there should be a specific gender attached to any type of toy. When I was growing up, like, I never had the need to play with dolls. I enjoyed my, like, action figures, like my G.I. Joe's, uh, Max Steel, Action Man was my favorite. And then obviously Luke Skywalker. But now as an adult, I really enjoy the dolls, eh? I think it's amazing. And I mean, especially what they're doing with the dolls these days. So that's why I decided to, decided to become a adult collector. I mean... I'll find this video like uh, almost seven minutes, no diamonds, man. Really? Really? <sighs> My word. You know what? I'm going to get like a proper hammer because this is going to take forever. I'll be right back, guys. And I'm back. I'm so sorry. This is not the way to do it. But I have not got... <laughs> two hours and i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to ch want to watch a two hour clip about you know just getting a couple of diamonds okay oh still no diamonds um let's let's do this Ah, look at that. Okay, let's just check. This is like, by the way, very, very easy to break. <laughs> Saying while I'm moaning, hey? <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything in there. But I'm so happy, look. And I think this is where the quality time comes in, you know? My opinion you're gonna do it with your kid stick with this it's gonna take longer and you guys are gonna have so much more fun and I mean this is gonna keep your kid occupied for I would say at least 45 minutes to an hour so there's our first jewel it's a shame on the box it doesn't come with like the names for the different types of, of diamonds but it's fine it's a diamond at the end of the day Guess not gonna worry about what what type of diamond it is, or that is. And there's like a little blue one and a and a red one. Awesome. Okay, so let's give this another bash. I don't think there's anything in here, no. Luckily these diamonds are big, so you can see them straight away. And by the way, you get them in like different shapes. I mean, it's not only the diamond shape. 
I've seen one in like a mermaid's tail, which I thought was really cool. I almost wanted to take that one, but I just thought like the whole diamond shape made more sense with the diamonds. So I don't think there's any in there. So I'm just going to do this, just to make sure we're not missing any diamonds. Oh, we're only getting three diamonds. That's, that's a little bit disappointing. Well, at least you can go buy some more. <laughs> I mean, it, this was like, I think, 40 Rand. South African Rand. So it's not that expensive. Whoops. More bonding time with your child. Okay, I think we only got three. Okay, so... There are eight to collect, so we got a purple one, which is this one. They haven't got the color blue, but the shape's similar, or oh, shape's exactly the same as the... Looks like pink and then the reds also similar or exactly the same as the pink one it's just a different color i guess i'm a little bit disappointed we only got three um, but like i said it's very affordable so i suggest if you do go buy this for your kids uh, rather buy i would say maybe about three of these so at least they will have a decent collection and hopefully the whole collection and we are done as a child I would have enjoyed this I mean look yeah this is awesome I had fun it, it, it's a little bit of a long process um, I'm just a little bit too impatient to do it the proper way <laughs> Hence why I'm using this or used this. It helped a lot. I think I saved like literally 20 minutes. <laughs> but actually you're only supposed to use this. That's the that's the whole fun part of this toy. But oh well. Um I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean we only got the the three diamonds. Um I think the diamond that it came in it's big so I was definitely expecting like the whole collection but I mean for the price range I think that was kind of unrealistic to expect to get all of them but uh, if there was five I would have been happy <laughs> and I mean I think if your kids start doing this I think they're just gonna be happy to you know dig out their own diamonds so in my opinion I like it. I, I really do like it. Uh, a little bit messy, like I said, so rather do it outside. I would actually recommend doing it outside, you know, especially for the whole experience. I mean, you're mining at the end of the day. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and if there's any more interesting toys, I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm actually going to do a comparison between. Uh, Hashbro and Disney Rapunzel dolls just because we only get Hashbro this side I love Hashbro don't get me wrong but I just need to do a comparison because I actually looked for for comparison videos on on YouTube I found like I think five of them so I want to do one so that will be my next video but uh cheers guys thank you so much for watching until next time Mwah.